What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with another sobriety video. I am so happy to know that I'm able to help somebody, even just one person, just in a small way makes me so happy because I know how hard it is to get and stay sober. I have a couple other sobriety videos that if you haven't seen those ones, I will link them down below so you can check those ones out as well. I have my sobriety story, um, I have 30 amazing things about sobriety, and tips to stay sober in early sobriety or just in sobriety in general. So this video today is going to kind of be a continuation of the 30 amazing things about sobriety video. That video is really popular and I get it because those are the types of videos that really helped me stay sober um, in early sobriety and all throughout sobriety. So this is 10 more amazing things about sobriety, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's 10, um, but we will just call it more amazing things about sobriety. So this is part two. Um, yeah, I can go on and on. The list really goes on and on and on. All the amazing things about sobriety, all the benefits that come with it. But today we are going to talk about 10 of those. Before I get into these things, first I would please ask you to subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel already. I noticed that I gained a good chunk of subscribers from my last couple sobriety videos. So if you're watching this video, chances are that you enjoyed my other sobriety videos and you're back for more. That's amazing. Thank you so much for being here. Um, but if you are new and you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button. It's right there. It's free. It's easy. It helps me and my channel so much and I will be able to see the type of content that you want to see and be able to make more of it. So click subscribe. Also give this video a thumbs up. It sends my video off into the YouTube universe and allows more people to see it. And yeah, so thank you so much. Let's just get right into these amazing things about sobriety. All right, so one amazing thing that comes with sobriety is that Sundays don't feel daunting and dreadful anymore. Sundays are a day for me to reset and recharge and I feel like I'm able to, I have energy and I'm not hungover. So I'm able to really prepare for the week ahead on Sundays. Um, and that just leads into a really great week. Before where when I was drinking, it was like Sundays were just awful and the house was always a disaster and I was never prepared for the week ahead and it was just a spiral into Monday which then ended up being a bad day because Sunday was a bad day and then the rest of the week it just sets the tone for the rest of the week so Sundays are now a beautiful day of relaxation and preparation for the week ahead and it's just it's the best it's an amazing feeling and Sundays are like one of my favorite days Another thing is I am no longer something and someone that I'm not. So it's not that when I was drinking, I was like pretending to be something that I'm not. It's not even that at all. It's just that when you get sober, you become your truest self and you're not being held back by that anymore. When you get sober, it's like you break free into this whole new chapter of life and you start to find your true self and your true passions and your true hobbies and things that you may have never discovered if you were still drinking. Another thing that is amazing that comes with sobriety is you start to not only be okay with being alone, but also really love and enjoy being alone. Now I'm married and I have two kids and a dog and I love their company so much. That's my tribe and it's amazing. But when I'm alone, I'm also thriving. You are able to grow spiritually and really do some deep soul searching. You can't do that if you're constantly drinking and clouded by the noise of alcohol, if that makes sense. Like when you're constantly drinking, all you're seeing is this moment right here, right now, I'm drinking, I don't care about anything else that's going on, on around me. And a lot of times you'll end up 
kind of staying in one place. You kind of hit a wall and you're at like a standstill and you never do any real growth. And when you give that up, it's like you skyrocket and you start to do some deep soul searching and you're able to grow and it's beautiful. And once you start to kind of experience that, it just, it's like a new addiction. Like I am like addicted to that feeling of self growth and self love. Another great thing is that you don't need alcohol to have fun. And I know some people like that is something that's so hard for them to wrap their mind around because it's like, you want to have a good time. Let's go drink. But really when you're sober, you're really able to experience new things and to discover new passions like i said before when you're drinking i feel like you don't really care to experience new things it's just the same thing every day or every week you're drinking with the same people it's nothing new and you never really get to experience life when you're able to get sober you probably will wind up experiencing new hobbies and things like that that you never thought in a million years that you'd ever be interested in when i was drinking i never thought that i would love the outdoors as much as I do like I love to be outside I love the beach I love going on hikes like I love just being outside in nature and when I was drinking I didn't care about any of that at all another great thing that comes from sobriety is you find healthy ways to deal with stress or to deal with issues that you might be going through like I said before when you're drinking you're kind of just like stuck you hit a wall and you're not really growing and you deal with your issues in toxic ways by drinking more or by lashing out or whatever it may be you're dealing with that stuff in a toxic way and when you get rid of that you are forced to feel your emotions and sit with yourself again being alone and really doing the inner work that needs to be done so that you can grow and so when you're having stresses and, and issues in your life, you learn healthy ways to navigate that. I've been sober for three and a half years now. And the first year of sobriety obviously was amazing. And I, there was so much rapid growth for me, spiritually, mentally, everything. Three years later, three and a half years later, I'm still learning and I'm still growing and I'm just grateful that I'm able to make these steps forward in my life constantly. Whereas if I was still drinking, I would still be stuck way back where I was. And you'll see people who are, you know, 50, 60, 70 years old, and they haven't really grown much. And they're just kind of stuck in their ways. And giving up alcohol is an opportunity for all of us to learn to deal with stresses and issues in our life in a healthy way. So that kind of goes into my next one, which is you start to mature emotionally and that growth will affect your life in lots of different ways. And one of the things for me that I've noticed is I don't take things as personally as I did when I was drinking. I used to take everything personally, everything was an attack against me when in reality it probably wasn't, but that was just like my defense mode is I took everything so personally. And now I realize that it's not always about me. Um, I'm learning to let things go for my own peace and sanity and your life just becomes so much more peaceful in so many ways. And who doesn't want to live a peaceful life? I think letting go of alcohol is, such a huge step you release so much pain and frustration and hurt and just sickness when you can let go of that and your life will just change dramatically and in every aspect of your life things will just start getting better and taking a turn and it's just it's a beautiful thing and it like i said it becomes addicting and sobriety will become your new addiction if you can just push past the hard part in the beginning it gets easier, things get better. And just a tip, this isn't really like a benefit of sobriety, but just a tip, I highly suggest that you, once you're in a good place, 
to share your story with other people like I'm doing because not only does it help people, it makes you feel really good that you're helping people, but it also kind of keeps you accountable. Like I, I'm an alcoholic and so I know like I still get urges from time to time and I've talked about that before, but because I've built so much of my life around sobriety and sharing my story with others, like I know I could never obviously let myself down by drinking again, but I wouldn't want to let any of you guys down and I wouldn't want to let my family down. It's like I have people holding me accountable. I think if you have the chance to share your story with people, just be open and honest about who you are and, you know, your struggles and the battles that you fought and overcome. It's so inspiring and people will be inspired by that and, and you could possibly be really helping somebody who's struggling and so tell your story if you can. So another amazing thing that comes from sobriety is you start to rebuild yourself. You start to become somebody that maybe you wouldn't even recognize while you were drinking. Like you start to rebuild yourself, your self-confidence skyrockets, you start to care more about yourself. Self-love is like at an all-time high and you're really taking care of yourself. It's a beautiful thing. Another thing is you look better. That's just straight up honest. To be blunt and for a lack of a better way to put it, you don't look good when you're drinking constantly. You can see it in your physical appearance. You might be swollen, you might have a red face, you might lack a glow. Like when you quit, you will see yourself transform. You will have a glow about you. You will, your eyes will be alive and sparkly and beautiful. So that's a big one. I love when people tell me that I'm glowing and I look so happy. Like it's the best compliment. It's the best feeling because what I'm feeling on the inside, how I feel so at peace and so happy now that I'm sober, it really does show up on the outside. And it's just, it's such a cool feeling when people compliment you like, wow, you look so happy. You look so fresh. You look so glowy. Like it's such a, it's a confidence boost and that's a great feeling. Another big thing about sobriety is that if you have kids, you are no longer putting them at risk. Um, even if you're not like drinking and driving, you are still putting your kids at risk by being blacked out drunk at home. Like even if they're asleep, what if an emergency were to happen? Like you're blacked out drunk, there's nothing that you're going to be able to do about it. So knowing that I can truly keep my kids safe and protect them is everything. Like that, that's all I really need in life is knowing that I can keep my baby safe. So if you have kids, knowing that you're doing a responsible thing for them is the best feeling. And it'll make you so proud. And it'll make them proud too. When they get older, or maybe you have grown kids, whatever the case may be, when your kids are adults and they're able to say, my mom or my dad got sober. They chose that life for me and for themselves. And because of that, you kind of are able to break that toxic cycle within the family. Alcoholism runs on my side of the family and my husband's side of the family. Like it's in, it's coming from both sides of our families. So my kids in reality are high risk for alcoholism and addiction. And so just us being clean and sober, to be able to model that for them is so huge and we are breaking that toxic cycle, that toxic, um, what's the word, generational curse. It'll make you so proud if you're able to be the one to put your foot down and say no more, I'm not gonna do this for my kids and for their kids and for their kids, I wanna stop the cycle now. Like that is such an amazing thing. Like you're really doing good for your kids and your grandkids and I'm proud to say that my husband and I were able to do that for our kids and future grandkids. All right, so I think that is everything that I have for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I will leave my other sobriety videos linked down below. So if you haven't seen those, definitely go check them out. Um, I am so happy to make these videos, seriously. It makes me so happy to be able to help and to do my part. I will gladly make more. Just please, please, please help me out give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It seriously helps me so much. 
and it, it cues me to make more of these videos because I can see that you guys really like them. So yeah, subscribe. Join the family. I would love to have you to help each other out. Leave a comment down below. I really love interacting with you guys. I love hearing your stories. It's really nice to kind of have this little community here that we share and a safe space where we can all share our stories and experiences and hopefully help each other. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for being here once again. If you are new, thank you for joining. I hope that you will stay and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. I can make you stay Cause baby I love you Why you trying to break us up When I'm trying to build it up I wish I could make you stop